Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is Estimation 1. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to learn 1. The meaning of estimation. 2. The general rules of estimation. 3. The unit of length and its derivations. 4. The perimeter of shapes. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Introduction to Estimations Estimation is simply guessing the nearly correct calculation of quantities without the actual measurement or calculation. Though estimation is not usually accurately done, it gives a good idea of the correct answer. Long time ago, people make estimate in units they are familiar with. The instruments used by early man to confirm estimates were called crude instruments. As development comes into place, standard units with accurate measurements were developed, some of which include meters and kilometers for measuring distance or length, grams for measuring mass and weight, and liters for measuring capacity etc. Let's see the general rules of estimation. Estimation of digits to the nearest whole number involves the following general rules. Look at the digit to the right of the digit you want to estimate. If the digit is greater than or equal to 5, round it up to the nearest whole number. If the digit is less than 5, round it down to the nearest whole number. Note that, we estimate by using what we know, or see, to make a reasonable guess, about an amount. For example, 38 plus 19, is estimated to about 60. But, the actual amount, is, 38 plus 19, equals, 57. That's awesome! Now, let's see the units of length. Length is the term used for identifying the size of an object or distance from one point to another. The basic unit of length is the meter. And it is represented by the symbol M. Meter is also called the SI unit of length. Other units of length can be derived using the meter and this is done by conversion. Where 1000 millimeters equals 1 meter. 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. 10 decimeters equals 1 meter. 1 decameter equals 10 meters. 1 hectometer equals 100 meters. 1 kilometer equals 1000 meters. Note that, the most popular units are, centimeters, meters, and, kilometers. That's good. Now, let's see some calculations, involving estimation of length. A man, buys a cloth for 870 naira per meter. Estimate how much he pays for, 54 meters, of same cloth. Solution Following the general rule of estimation, let 870 nera be estimated to 1000 nera. Let 54 meters be estimated to 50 meters. Therefore, if 1 meter equals 1000 nera, then 50 meter equals 50 times 1000. This gives us an estimated value of 50,000 nera. Let's see the actual calculation. 1 meter equals 870 nera. 54 meters equals 54 times 870. This gives us an actual value of 46,900. 
and 80 Nera. The estimation of 50,000 Nera is a guide because 46,980 Nera can be rounded up to 50,000 Nera. Therefore it is a good guess. That's brilliant. Perimeter of Shapes The perimeter of the shape is the total measurement of all the edges of that shape. For example, a triangle has three edges. So, its perimeter is the total of the three edges added together. The perimeter formulas for some shapes include the perimeter of a triangle equals A plus B plus C. The perimeter of an equilateral triangle equals A times A times A, which equals 3A. The perimeter of a square equals A times A times A times A, which equals 4A. The perimeter of a rectangle equals 2 bracket L plus B. The perimeter of a parallelogram equals 2 bracket A plus B. The perimeter of a trapezium equals A plus B plus C plus D. The perimeter of a circle equals 2 pi R. The perimeter of a rhombus equals A times A times A times A which equals 4A. And, the perimeter of a right angle triangle equals B plus H plus D. Note that, these symbols are used to represent the length, base, breadth, height, depth, radius, or diameter of the shapes. That's brilliant. Now, let us solve some problems. Find the perimeter of the following shapes. 1. The rectangle on the board. Solution. Length equals 9 cm. Breadth equals 4 cm. Perimeter equals 2 bracket L plus B. Replacing the length and breadth, we have 2 bracket 9 cm plus 4 centimeters. This gives us 2 times 13. Therefore, the perimeter of the rectangle equals 26 centimeters. 2. The triangle on the board. Solution. The perimeter of a triangle equals A plus B plus C. Replacing the letters with the numbers on the shape, we have 5 cm plus 5 cm plus 5 cm. Therefore, the perimeter of the triangle equals 15 cm. Wow, that's wonderful. Assignment Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. The meaning of estimation. 2. The general rules of estimation. 3. The unit of length and its derivations. And 4. How to calculate the perimeter of shapes. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks, and goodbye.